Boom. So friends, uh, I've not swung an ax uh, in over a month, okay? Over a month. And I've not even been able to, to literally, uh, to go like this. I, I've not been able to go like this. I, I have to keep it down. Even now, it, it's, it's just, you know what I mean? So it's coming and it's way better. I haven't been able to swing an ax, but, but I want to share something with you. This is an ax I made quite a while ago on a Killinger 28 inch one of Killinger's handles, one of the most beautiful little handles I've ever handled. Handled, handled, right? Uh, this is the ax I, I, I put together uh, and just, it's got a little bend in it. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna lay this off to the side, I'll keep it. And I've given it to my wife now. This is her little splitter now. And uh, Ish, I believe, gave me this Snedden's thing. And you can see the wife's put it to use a couple times. She told me the other day, she smacked an, an overstrike and uh, I gotta be honest, friends, this leather, whatever they're using at Snedden's, if you like that look, go to Snedden's, email them. To, I have nothing to do with the company. I've never met them, spoke to them, nothing. But when I see a good product, I don't need someone to do something for me to talk about their freaking product. This is a good product. It's a good product. And they're Australian and it's a, an own family business. Go check them out. Snedden's. Check out their freaking axes too. Some not the roundabout or something. Good stuff. But this thing, I tried this three or four years ago just, just to see. Maybe longer ago actually now that I think about it. I freaking overstrike. I wanted to. <laughs> I didn't even overstrike. I just went nuts on a pile of firewood like I usually do. It ripped off in about three or four hits, friends. This I think it's to do with a, it looks to me like about 10 ounce. It's thick. There's something about it. Snedden's. Go freaking see him if you like that. I like this for my wife. Tell him what can send you. Just maybe, let's see. Let's see. So, I still can't really swing, but I can a little bit. So I just kind of go up and I, I use the left, you know, like, you know what I mean? I finish with the left hand. So I can still do it. I'm, I'm pretty still one-handed. Uh, this firewood's been in the truck now for quite some time. I got my new freaking Nick's nail down constructed boots on. They're wicked. Freaking wicked. And I got to share something with you folks. Usually, Usually, um, leather boots get cold in the snow in the winter. Well, my wife found, she found these freaking, uh, whatchamacallits, um, insoles. Friends, they've got like aluminum on the bottom. Like, I guess aluminum, aluminum or, or tin foil or something. And padding on the top. Friends. I can feel my feet, but they ain't cold like my other ones. They're just not. This is, so friends, guess where this wood's from? This wood's from, uh, uh, I might bring one of these in. I'm gonna bring a couple of those in for nighttime burners. You know, I don't think I would put up with that if those were my dogs. I just wouldn't put up with it. That wouldn't be happening on my property. I wouldn't let my dogs do that. So my wife uh, loves this ax. Check, check out this, friends. Look at, look at that knot. You're not going this way through those knots. You're, you're, not, you're not doing it. Uh, well, you might be. Um, that's almost a nighttime burner right there, but I think I'm gonna shank. You can see, you can see the knot right there. So that means there's probably a better chance 
of peeling off this side right here than the other side. So I'm not, I don't have the stank in me right now. There we go. Make that a little smaller. There we go. You see what happened there, friends? See that? Here we go. Now it's a little smaller. So we got that piece and that piece off the outside of the knot. Now we got that. Smaller, ready for the stove. Work around your knots, friends. Some of this stuff was really boring. Friends, who doesn't love a freaking interjection on a Buck and Billy Ray video? You just never know what's gonna happen around here. Some people hate them, but that's okay, they'll get over it. I love them myself. Friends, listen, I got word from Eric at Ripsaw. I just wanna, I just wanna talk about these boys for just a second. Remember we talked about that little 2511T that with the little uh, quarter inch sprocket and the smaller chain and the little kit that they sell that makes this thing get up and rip roar? We've had some feedback on that. And people that have had the, the regular saw and then gone to that kit, they're like, oh yeah. So we know this already, but it's good to hear that back for these guys. I've been impressed as you guys know. I think I'm gonna try this little thing myself because I have two of them. Uh, ported, one by uh, Iron Horse and one by Ripsaw. And their 2511 actually impressed me. It did. Now I know that they are hot, kind of known for their 201, which is the still topping saw. Apparently they're known for it. Now, Eric, what's going on here, buddy? I, I, you know, I haven't tried it yet. Is there something I need to do to Anyway, friends, I'll leave the link in the description again and uh, just know they're there for chains, freaking bars, all kinds of different stuff. But these things pop off in my brain, friends. When I'm building videos, I'm all over the place. So uh, I, I just, I want to support these young guys in their business. For when people ask me questions, go see Ripsaw, ripsaw.shop, I believe. Anyways, I'll leave the link to make it simple for you. Code bucking. That sounds crazy. There's another one. Same deal. Look. Right? See that? You're just, you're not going through it this way, friends. Don't waste your time. Don't do it. Just put it down and run with your knot like this. Right? Run, run with it over the side. Usually just a little bit off to the side. Not dead center because you, well, whatever. You do what you want, but. It's gonna go one way or the other. So you may as well squeak over to one side of the knot, maybe here a little. See, that, that's just my, that's just what I suggest to you. There you go. That was almost center. Actually, that was very close to center. It found its way. See that? It found its way. It went in the almost dead center actually. And she cranked over to one side. That's what they do. Uh, I'm not, I'm not well yet, so. glasses I just wanted to I just I just want to freaking work so bad friends that's all that's all I'm saying Look at this crazy, silly thing. Probably shouldn't go there. This axe is, is glorious. I can't get... Yeah, see, I, I can feel it. I, I better settle down. Done. Not pushing it. Not pushing it. Huh. 
All right, let's go park this thing. Young drivers, young drivers, take note. I'm in two wheel drive. There's snow on the ground. Take note, I'm in reverse. Watch what happens. Why am I stuck? I'm not going anywhere. I'm actually going the wrong way. Now watch what happens. Watch this. Watch this. Look at, here, Miz will put you in the mirror. Look at me, I'm going up in the snow backwards. Friends, no fuel, none whatsoever. Now watch what happens as soon as I hit fuel. You start spinning. It's not always about the fuel, young drivers of the world. I know there's a lot of old old trucks out there being bought and sold and this and that. And I've been in trucks with people. <laughs> Just slow down. Slow down. See this? We're, we're on ice almost. Like literally almost ice. It's slushy and wet, so it's not terrible. But right there, I was completely spinning out. And then I took my foot off the gas, rolled ahead a little bit, got out of a, a spot, and just up I went. You're never stuck in life. You're not. You're never stuck in life. If you are the kind of person that when you get stuck in the bush or something or wherever you are in the, in the world, if you're the kind of person that goes, oh, we're screwed, then guess what? You're screwed. I'm never screwed. I, I'm, I'm not. I live in the solution so fast, it's crazy. Like, I'm looking for the solution almost as I know I'm getting stuck. If that makes sense. You're never stuck in this world. He sure wasn't. So friends, we had a little, uh, a, a new subscriber pop in. I saw the comment, one of my lovely uh, moderators and, and dear friends of the channel um, popped in and said, hey Buckin, there's a new subscriber. I noticed her poodle daddles. Poodle daddles, we love you. We see you and we hear you. Thank you so much. I, I noticed you grabbed a little nugget from one of the videos, but guess what? So today, if you want, you can uh, email Christine at buckandbillyray.com and we got a shirt for you and your husband because we love you and we're happy you're here. Thank you for commenting. It's that simple. Over and out. an axe in the mail friends excuse me somebody somebody gave me an axe uh what was it called uh hang on a sec i'll tell you thank you for the axe by the way uh potter maybe i'll see if i can find his name adam potter hey adam i got your axe buddy thanks man i appreciate it yeah that's an old axe american axe or something Kind of look like a, a beat up uh, Michigan. But uh, thank you, pal. I, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you, pal. Okay. So friends, I, I got to be quite frank. I, I, I'm, I'm, breaking, I'm breaking these boots in, you see, here. Now, these. And uh, I've only got one little hot spot on the sucker. That's it. And that's on the outside. Joey. Good work on the boots. I know you guys had to cobble these together and it's not something you usually do is work on other brands, but I'm gonna tell you something, I'm honored. And Joey, to see your intent, you working on them suckers. And by the way, by the freaking way, Joey, dude, 
are you a dad? Did I hear from one of the fellas at Nick's Boots that you're a dad? I love this. I love hearing this, Joey. You're, you're a good dude, man. You're in the video that I did there. And uh, I really enjoyed your energy, buddy. You're a good man and uh, an asset, a major asset to Nick's Boots. And don't forget it. You are, you are appreciated there. I talked to a few of the fellas there and I saw your work and I got to be around you and you got the great energy, buddy. So keep up the good work and uh, thank you for your efforts on these boots, buddy. I saw you in there just, oh, you were cobbling. You were actually cobbling it together. And I know you were and I appreciate it and it was actually a favor to me. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Friends, go see Next Boots if you're ready to open a, uh, they, they, these guys give a hoot, man. I know I've talked about them lots, but I mean, they give a hoot, these people. You know, I, 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 I like that in, in businesses. It's that extra mile, you know. You know, not, not this uh, resting on our laurels here. I've been in business for this long and you can come to me type attitude. No, we come to you because of your name. That's why we come to businesses. People come to me because of my name. Cut trees because of my name. Not because of any other reason. It's your work and it'll always be your work. Your work is your freaking name. Our stumps in the bush are our signature. I think I killed my GoPro. And when you look at the hillside and you go, you look at the lay of the timber and you look at this and that and you see how much a guy got done. That's your freaking name. It's not how hard you can yard on your suspenders or how much you can tell us about the biggest tree you cut down or, or, or slam your dogs into every stump you, you, you made looking all cool. Nobody cares about that stuff here on the hillside. It's about quota and safety and, and staying humble. That's where I come from. Hope it ain't. So that's the end of the story today. And do yourself a freaking favor before you fire up your power saw. Get down to buckandbillyray.com and get yourself a get the gullet. Because without getting the gullet, you're not cutting nothing. And then once you finish your cutting and you got your get the gullet, right? You cover that. Remember, Frankie or Freddie? Is it Freddie? I met Freddie at Walker's yesterday. Freddie. When we get this new brand new shirt out on the website, head over to buckandbillyray.com. Come on, Buckins Truckin'. Right there, brand new, pretty tickled about this shirt, friends. We'll let you know when she's up on the site. Not bad salesmanship, eh? I'm getting there, Christine. Work hard, be honest, and be kind. Do good things and justify to no one. Respect yourself.